So this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for September 11 to the 13th. Now, since this is general, you only want to take what does apply to you. Let the rest fly, of course. With this being general, you don't want to take everything super, super personal because it is supposed to pinpoint a lot of different people. And the worst mistake you could ever make is base your whole life off of general reading. So if you go with a reading that, or reading, if you go with a reader that you trust, you will have more so um, clarity from doing like a personal session. But um, let's get straight into it. If you want to see future readings from me, also make sure you subscribe, like this video, hit the notification bell, and let's see what's going on. Now, the first card is going to represent you and your current situation. And I do have the hanged muse in reverse. So this is you finally seeing things from a different perspective where you may have been very stuck and stagnant and unable to get any forward movement in a particular area in your life. This is you realizing exactly what the cause is or what exactly has been hindering you from having progress. Um, hmm. This could be due to the fact that, let me actually clarify. Seven of materials, let me show you guys. For a lot of you, this could be after you've like analyzed all the effort and energy you put into a job, a relationship, your family situation, and then kind of like seeing the results of how things may have played out. Hmm. Some of you also really would like to get back in contact with someone to not necessarily get back with them, but to express how you feel. There may have been like a ghosting situation that happened with this individual. They may have ghosted you out of the blue. And then it's like, you want to speak your truth. You want to get an understanding as to why. Anywho, um, what I see for the next card, though, this is going to represent the um, theme. And with the five of pentacles, um, finances for one, some of you are going through some financial issues where things are kind of like lackluster when it comes to that. Things may be a little off when it comes to finances or you may have had to dip into your finances a little bit more recently and like either you trying to find a way to make more money so that you don't feel like you're tight on money or like you realizing, dang, something has to give when it comes to my financial situation, the way money's being spent or how money's coming in. Um, also, Five of Pentacles, this is like abandonment issues some of you guys may have. Low key, that keeps you from actually opening up fully to people. So you may be struggling with this inability to kind of trust that, okay, if I open up to this situation, this person's not going to abandon me. This person's not going to just disappear on me. Okay, some of you are still struggling with like a breakup. But the advice for you... With the emperor, there's a need for you to take full control over your situation. Understand that you do have full control over your situation at the moment. It's just a matter of you being put in a position to where you're having to make some tough decisions. Okay, so it's not that you're necessarily at the will of the universe or things that are happening to you are out of your control. It's just you have to put on your big, big boy, big girl pants and take the driver's seat of a situation here. And it may be a decision. It may be a decision that you're not going to necessarily be the most happy with, unfortunately. Whether this is like having to leave a relationship that you don't necessarily want to leave, but you know, you have to, cause it's not healthy, like decisions in that realm. But with the four of materials clarifying this, Hmm. 
for my people who are watching this who are like questioning like dang when is new love going to come in when are these changes going to happen it has a lot to do with what actions you're taking now are you someone who's just waiting for things to kind of fall in your lap? Are you someone who's going to make these things happen for you? There's two different types of people in the world. There's people who wait for things to happen to them and then get upset when it just doesn't happen. Or they, there's other people who understand how real manifestation works that, yes, you could want something so bad, but wanting it should give you the drive and the motivation to take action on those things. Not wait for the universe to just deliver a person with a shiny bow as if that's like reality or deliver your dream job with a shiny bow without you putting any work in. So manifestation is dead without action. Now, what you do need to avoid during this time frame, I do have the ace of materials. Um, so this is spending way too much money. Um, this is jumping into a new relationship too fast. This is... Mm. This is giving money to family. Somebody may ask you for money during this time frame, whether it's family or not, but this is just being self-aware of giving money to other people during this time frame, especially if you've given them money before and they never paid you back or they keep asking you for money. Now, when it comes to what I see for the future, I have the Queen of Voices. So... In the future, I see you really just focusing on self, but I also see you guys being in a space where mental clarity is going to be yours in the near future, especially where, yeah, moon card, where there's been a lot of uncertainty or questions like, oh, I wonder how this is going to play out, how this is going to happen. But this, like, you're going to have the answer sooner than not. Um, Especially when it comes to someone who you may not be speaking to right now, who may have like ghosted you and you're kind of like questioning like what's really going on with the situation? Is this person dealing with someone else? What's going on here? Some of you guys may get to even speak your piece in terms of um, feeling like your person, like, and I'm really speaking to my people who are still in a relationship with this. Um, you getting to speak your piece in terms of you feeling like this person may still be cheating, especially if they've been acting weird. But this is what I see. I hope I did put things in perspective for you. If you took something from this reading, feel free to thumbs it up and subscribe. Um, all my information will be below in the description, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.